Hello, this is Brad, also known as Brad Wild on the explain.org forums. I wanted to show you how to use a flight plan parser that takes screen scrapes from FlightAware, RootFinder, and now SkyVector and converts them into flight plans that can be imported into the default Xplane FMS or the Garmin 430 and 530. Let's start with a plan from FlightAware, the original parser that I wrote. There is a link here, but I have it uh, set up and ready to go. So the first thing it does is it pulls up a list of recent flights, both scheduled and already arrived. So I'll pick one that is close to the time I want to fly. Let's just select this one here, Virgin America. I'm interested in this column here, in particular this line that says route. It shows an abbreviated flight plan of the SID transition and star. And what I want is the decoded version that shows all the waypoints with its coordinates. You start by selecting the very beginning of the origin airport all the way down through this very last letter in the destination airport. Then I command C or control C on your PC to copy it over to the clipboard and I go back to my parser. I put in the name of my flight plan and this is what will appear when I pull it up in X-Plane, I'll paste in my screen scrape. You can edit it if you want. For instance, it shows the exact waypoint twice, although the program will eliminate one of those automatically. You select the source of your data, in this case FlightAware, and I convert it. Creates the file here that you can download with a right click, but if you want to preview it first, you can see that it indeed created the .fms file. Now let's try one using RouteFinder. Unfortunately, RouteFinder is not nearly as robust as a flight plan you'd get from FlightAware or one that you would plan on your own and SkyVector. Occasionally you get lucky and you get something that is reasonably realistic. This one is not. I've done it before, even though I've checked all these boxes for SID and STAR and RNAV. But I'll go ahead and find the route. Whether you get a good route or not, it's basically the same process. So I'll start here at the beginning of my airport of origin and just drag it through the very end of the last line at KSFO. Save it to my clipboard. Then head over to my parser and I'll put in the name, paste in my flight plan. Not really exciting, like I said. This is from Route Finder, so I'll check that radio button. Convert it. And here is the .fms file. The last one I want to show you is from SkyVector. They have recently updated their flight planning interface and made it possible for us to do a screen scrape, although it's a little bit more difficult and requires some manual labor. By the way, I've switched to Chrome from Safari because Safari just gives me fits trying to do the screen scrape. I've got a flight plan in here from Las Vegas to San Francisco with all my waypoints pasted in or set. I'm interested in this link here, Navlog. What it does is it creates a PDF of the flight plan. You'll notice that it also includes top of climb and top of descent. The parser does weed those out plus any duplicates. We'll zoom in a little bit, easier to work. So the tricky part here is getting this to your clipboard, you just have to make sure that all of these 
coordinates below each waypoint is selected. And I also select those for the top of descent. I just want to make sure I've got it all. Then I copy that to my clipboard. I go over to a text editor that I use. This is BB Edit, and I paste it in. So I will grab these final two, go back to BB Edit, just paste them in here at the bottom. I am really not interested in the top of descent because I already have one. You can see that they're the same here, 122, 21.79, so I can get rid of that one. There are two lines for each waypoint, which, why, which is why the parser has to work a little bit harder. So this is KSFO, which is our last waypoint. Then I select all, copy it to my clipboard, go over to my converter, name, paste it in. Check sky vector, convert it, preview it, and you can see that it is stripped out top of climb and top of descent. Last thing, just want to show you how to get this into X plane if you don't already know. And again, this will depend on your browser and your platform. I'm holding down the option key, I'm in Chrome. It opens up a contextual menu, and I want to save link as. So it will open up my hard drive. I have a solid state drive for Xplane for obvious reasons. It goes to output, FMS plans, and I save it there. I've already done it before, but I'll save it again. So that about covers how to use the flight plan converter. Let me know if you have any issues and I'll see if I can address them. Thanks.